Shinto has no founder or founding date. The Japanese people and Japanese culture became aware of themselves. Shinto was already there. The Yo culture, which originated in northern area, area of island of Kyushu in the third or second century BC, is directly related to later Japanese culture and Shinto. Among the primary Yayoi religious phenomena. Shinto is a national, social, religious institution which highly values the tradition and history of Japan. The word Shinto is derived from the Chinese word Shinto, which means Way of the Gods. The basis of Shinto is worship of Kami. Kami is roughly translated as deity. It applies to deities and noble people from history, including the ancestors of the Japanese people and the Japanese imperial dynasties. Shrines are the center of Shinto, with each shrine being dedicated to a specific kami. To enter a shrine, one passes through the turn, the gateway that is the demarcation between the finite world and the infinite world of the gods. Most homes have an altar dedicated to worshipping their family kami and ancestors. Shinto is said to have always existed in Japan in some form. At present, there are three types of sh Shinto in Japan. There are Shrine Shinto, with prehistoric origins. It included until 1945 State Shinto, which is closely tied to government and the Japanese imperial dynasties. Sectarian Shinto. There are 13 sects in Sectarian Shinto, each with a founder Semitizer who organized it in the 19th century. Sectarian Shinto also includes sects which formed after World War II. Folk Shinto. Folk Shinto does not have an organized religious body, nor does it have any doctrinal formulas. It is instead tied to the numerous practices of individual families. All three types are interrelated. Folk Shinto is a substructure of Shinto faith, the foundation of sorts. A member of Centurion Shinto is likely to have always worship and shrine associated with Shrine Shinto. Shinto is an indigenous religion of Japan, and that has spread from Japan to a great extent. Japanese immigrants in other countries have brought Shinto with them, but there are a few in number. Efforts have been made to increase the knowledge and respect for Shinto in the international community. Kemi and Shinto, although no one deity has been ascribed to the destination of God in terms of being chief or creator. The most revered, revered deity is Amaterasu, the sun goddess. She is the daughter of Izanagai Mizaganami, who, according to legend, created the islands of Japan. Amaterasu is considered a direct ancestor to the Japanese imperial line. Shinto's legends about the creation are limited to the islands of Japan. Japan was created by Izaganami and Izanami, who then chose to dwell there. This gives Japan the prominence in the eyes of its people, who feel that it is the best place to live. Shinto has been influenced by Confucianism, Taoism, and Buddhism, and feels that all deities, even those from under 
from other religions are valid. Confucianism and Taoism say that Tao is the cause of all that is. We surely would accept that as valid, even while retaining its own creation accounts. There is much established scripture in Shinto. Many traditions and rituals were passed down through family alone. They were not codified until the 17th century. The first attempt to codify the myths and traditions of the families and the clans were the Kyujiki, or the Chronicles of Old Ages. It traced the history of the Imperials, Majimu, Jano onward, and they're written in 1620 and Anno year of our Lord, in 1712 CE. The Kojiki, the chronicle of Asian events, was written. It aimed at presenting the history of Japan. Around the same time, the new book and the popular chapter were released for slight variations and additions to the Kojiki. The basis of Shinto is honoring one's family candy and ancestors. There are rituals to accomplish this. Both are the shrines, or in the home. Shinto, as a national religion, also calls for obedience to the respect of Japan. Its patriotism is a natural extension to the love that Japanese people have for the homeland. Shinto leaders are also focusing on the necessity of international cooperation. Now, working on work. I, sorry, I mean toward helping adherents to become global citizens, thus extending one's patriotic duties to the entire planet. Shinto also holds the environment in very high accord, and many adherents feel moved to be involved in various environmental protection programs. Shinto today is similar to its original form. Yeah, it has also incorporated like, ideas yeah. from several other traditions, including like, Confucianism and Buddhism. Buddhism. Like, Today, we are adherents of Shinto and also adherents of Buddhism. Yeah. Yeah. For this reason, so it is difficult to determine just how many yeah. adherents yeah. there are. Probably me. Some sources, places, the number at around 3 million. Others note, however, that anywhere from 40 to 8% of Japanese citizens still consider themselves part of Shinto. That's what caused the number of rise to be between 50 and 100 million. Shinto is recognized by the tree, a distinctive arch or gate erected at the entrance to the sacred precincts of, of a shrine. The tree is separate standard area of the shrine from the profane world surrounding it. Shintoism deals with understanding the way of life for what it is and being true to the God's nature. Hello, I like Shintoism, but I would personally not follow it because I follow Christianity and I believe that Jesus Christ is a prophecy. It is said that the Japanese were born Shintoist and I Buddhist. In the teachings of the Buddha, all of us will pass away eventually. It's called the natural process of birth, old age, and death. But we should all always keep in mind of the impermanence of life. The life that we all cherish and wish to live in. In Buddhism, however, death is not the end of life. It's merely the end of the body will be in happiness in this life. The spirit will still remain and seek out through the need of attachment. Attachment to a new body and a new life. 
the baby would be born as a result of the past, an accumulation of positive and negative action, and the resultant karma as a result of one's past actions.